Hi, my name's Lima Milan, otherwise known as The Sound Tutor, and these are my personal tips and tricks for using Machina with music production. Now, there's two main points I wanna highlight before moving into this course. The first is that I'll be using a hardware controller. Where possible, I use hardware control because I like to use things that don't have too much of a graphical sort of feedback device to them. And a computer screen, even though it's great when you wanna do high levels of editing and stuff like that, Generally, when you see things happening on a timeline and patterns and events, you just slightly second guess what's coming up all the time and you don't hear your own work in the same way that the end user will do when it comes to them listening to the music. They don't see that information. So I personally like to experience the music at the same level that they will. You'll find that your judgments improve as well because you just hear what you hear. You have no kind of... Um, mental process which can happen to a lot of us where we think well i haven't done enough programming or i haven't done any automation yet it doesn't sound right or it can't sound right because i haven't done as much as i think i need to do whereas when you work with just hardware devices all that stuff's there and available to do but you just judge things based on what you're hearing you just decide is this good is this bad i'll move forward so that's point one anyway so hardware control the second point is that i expect a certain level of competency from you when you're using machina so I'm pitching this course to people who already know how to use Machina, already know how to create patterns, already know how to add devices, navigate generally using the hardware control. That being said, if you're completely new to Machina and you just want to learn some music production tips, you can do it through this course. You just may have to do a bit of pausing and rewinding to just slow down some of the steps. And where possible, I will add some text boxes to kind of back up what I'm covering too. But otherwise, welcome to the course. And I look forward to going through all of this with you and I hope there's some good tips and tricks in here for everyone who watches.